so we are off to the Red Paddleco Ultimate Sub Demo Tour 2019 held at Polkeris today which is right on my doorstep and I literally cannot wait. It comes around once a year and this time Red Paddleco have decided to come over here where I live and it's going to be amazing. First off, time for a pasty before we get on the water. Mmm, and some. Today there's a weird sort of seaweed. It's like grass and it's everywhere. And the uh, residents from the beach say that they've never seen it as bad as this before. And Rachel was having a fab time on the water on the Red Paddle Co 106 ride. Really great board. And I took the Red Paddle Co 96 Compact out, which is the new paddle board to the Red Paddle Co range. Absolutely fantastic board. And it packs down into this really small bag as well, which is so handy. This is the compact board from Red Paddle Co. It feels nice. It, this board really does pack down quite a lot. Uh, it's meant to be an equivalent board that you might go for like the 10.6 um, but the big bonus is the backpack that it packs down into is so much smaller and lighter which is quite decent conditions today are not the best for this so you can definitely feel that it's a very rigid board if you want to drop about one and a half grand onto it. We're here today with George from the Red Paddle Co team oh, yeah. on the Ultimate uh, Sub Tour and he's going to tell us a bit about the Red Paddle Co range which I believe is the, the best brand of paddle boards that you can get in the world today. Um, so the board we got here is the sort of world's most popular board which is the Ride 106. Um, this is the most versatile board we have on the range so it's an all rounder so it covers sort of every aspect of paddle boarding really well. So if you're starting off for the first time, you probably have a lesson on a, on a ride 10-6 because it's what most schools and most centres have. Um, so it's 10 foot 6 long, so it has a really nice waterline length, so it glides across the water. It's 32 inches wide, so it's a really nice stable platform to sort of get on for the first time. It's 4.7 inches thick, um, so you don't feel too high above the water on it. It feels like a natural hardboard feel, um, so you're not sort of up above the water and sort of unbalanced. It makes a sort of really nice ride. Um, boards like this you can do a bit of everything with. So on a day like this where it's quite choppy, you can do a nice bit of cruising on it. You can catch a few little of the waves coming in. So it's a really nice board to have a play on. It's a really good family board as well. It comes with completely indestructible fins. So your kids can be jumping all over the back of the board. You're not worrying about the fins getting damaged. You can also get a few of you on here so you can have a bit of a play, have a bit of a jump off as well and, and, and treat it as a, a good, good time on the beach, which is what we've been doing today. Cool. And the styling's nice too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we do little details. So it's all an embossed deck pad. So it's got a red repeater graphic all on the deck pad. Um, it's in our sort of classical colors that we've always had, the blue and the red. The board also comes in an SE in the purple, so it comes in two different colorways as well. If you like the video, then please, as always, subscribe and hit the like button. Um, put a comment down in the comments box too. Let me know what you think about paddleboarding. Have you ever been paddleboarding? Let me know. All right, until next time, see ya.